This is my first Warhammer Fantasy review for the Orcs and Goblins Army, the Orc Boys. This is the Orc Boys box. It comes with 19 of them. As you can see, it's a pretty big box. Let's see what comes inside. These are the spruce. As you can see, it comes with a very large amount of spruce. These are the spruce for the shields. As you can see, it comes with different ones. The command sprue with an additional shield, an additional standard banner, mask for the boss, some extra legs, and an arm for the shield. Here's the sprue with the heads, choppas, human skull, an orc skull, spike shoulder pads. Here's the supposed to be the normal shoulder pads. Here's for the bodies. Here there's the other time of through more choppas, spears, and a sprue for the legs. Now let's see the boys feel fully built. Here are the built boys. As you can see there's 19 of them so you get no rank bonus for the last one. Here's a standard, haven't painted yet. This is the command. This is the orc big boss. As you can see, miss his name proud. He is pretty big. His arms are actually bigger than his head. This is a standard bearer. And the musician. The Orc Boys are a core selection for the Orcs and Goblins army. They are dirty cheap and not that powerful unless used in very large amount of numbers. Some of the interesting abilities they have. First, they come with equip equipped with light armor by default and with a hand weapon that in this case is a choppa. The choppa is a weapon that gives you a strength bonus in each first round of combat. We can actually be pretty helpful. Another ability the Orcs boys have, they can actually be upgraded to Big Ons. Big Ons gives them a weapon, uh, a weapon skill advantage and a strength bonus. The upgrade is pretty useful, making them much more powerful, but the, the, uh, the point value is pretty big. So they tend to be pretty expensive once fully upgraded. A pretty neat bonus is that they get the ability to use a magical banner that always comes helpful. Now, they can be equipped with two choppas for double attack. They can be equipped with a shield and spear for rank attacks, but you get no choppa bonus. And you can get you can be they can be equipped with a shield and choppa. No double attack, but still choppa bonus plus the defense. Here's one of the shoulder pads I mentioned. For the actual review of the miniatures themselves, they are actually pretty good looking and look pretty barbaric. Compared to the, the previous versions that actually look like Vikings. The detail is pretty good despite not being a lot of it. One of my criticisms is the actual legs comes with very, very big mold lines. Not your typical ones, but actually the formed ones that you have to have to actually scrape with it your exacto knife. They are not actually hard to build and not hard to paint, since they actually come there with a 25 millimeter basis. So you guess they are actually pretty big compared to your standard human. If you're actually building an orcs and goblins army, the orc boys is an essential part of your core selection, unless you're actually making a theme one. This, you should actually include at least two to three of these regiments for full effect. If you actually have Gorbat, gore you can actually upgrade many of them to big ons for more damage and mayhem. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like, please comment, rate, and subscribe.